Our countries are linked by trade and travel, by history and culture, by faith and family. The United States is home to 36 million incredible Mexican-American citizens. Mexican-Americans uplift our communities, and they strengthen our churches and enrich every feature of national life. They are hardworking, incredible people. They are also great businessmen and women and make up a big percentage of our small business owners and very successful. They're very, very successful. They're like you. They're tough negotiators and great business people, Mr. President. Working alongside President Lopez Obrador, we're taking this relationship to new heights and building a powerful economic and security partnership. Together, we have addressed many of the most complex issues facing our two countries that really went unresolved for many years. We've also worked closely in the battle against the coronavirus, together saving countless thousands of lives. It's been my honor to help Mexico procure 600 ventilators, and it's going to be a higher number than that. They needed them very badly, and we were able to make them. We're making thousands a week, and we're helping a lot of countries. But one of the first, and maybe the first that I spoke to, was Mexico. We have a lot of them in Mexico, saving a lot of lives. And, uh, Mr. President, we're in this fight together, and we're doing very well. It's just a couple of things on that. Uh, I'm proud to further announce that the U.S. is by far number one in testing, number one in the world in testing, and that the mortality rate is the lowest, or just about the lowest, of any nation anywhere in the world. And we're safely reopening our country. And very importantly, we're safely reopening our schools. We want the schools to be open. Our two governments are also in close cooperation to stop the illicit cross-border flow of drugs and guns, cash and contraband. And very importantly, stopping human trafficking. We're forging critical partnerships across the Western Hemisphere to combat the cartels and the smugglers and to ensure safe, humane and lawful migration. And we've been helped greatly by Mexico on creating record numbers in a positive sense on our southern border. Following President Lopez Obrador's remarks, we'll sign a joint declaration committing ourselves to a shared future of prosperity, security, and harmony. This is truly a proud moment in history for both of our nations, Mexico and the United States. With this signing, we pledge the close and continued friendship between the United States and Mexico. And we accelerate our progress toward an even greater tomorrow, and that's what's happening. A greater, maybe even a far greater tomorrow. With a prospering region, a flourishing hemisphere, and two sovereign nations thriving, growing, and excelling side by side, working together. And that's what we've been doing.